Good evening again from Townley First Baptist Church. Brother John here, uh, hoping all is well with you and your families. Uh, hopefully, uh, this will be uh, the last uh, post we will have to make uh, from uh, this situation that we're in. Uh, we are hoping and praying that uh, the 1st of May comes and we'll be able to gather together again on Wednesday nights as an official Awana group. Uh, we've uh, enjoyed doing this. Uh, thank Brother Wayne for taking the time each and every week to do this for us. And so we hope you've enjoyed it. We thank you for all of uh, those that have viewed it and shared it. And we just pray that uh, you've got something out of it. Uh, and uh, as I've said uh, before, uh, in the last few weeks we've been talking about words. And uh, this uh, tonight's word uh, will we'll speak to Brother Wayne. It's uh, the words investment and him being a banker. And so uh, I looked up the word investment. The action or process of investing money for profit or material result. Uh, investments. We all make investments from time to time. Uh, if your 401k is like mine, it's in the tank right now. Uh, it's not looking good, but hopefully it will rebound. But if I told you tonight that I had a guaranteed money-making scheme uh, with guaranteed results, uh, maximum profits, and low risk, everybody out there would jump all over it, wouldn't they? And of course, I'm talking about material and money investments, uh, but there's something more, much more important uh, in investing uh, Today, and that's, uh, as, I, as I thought about this uh, week, and hopefully by next week, we will all be gathered together. Uh, if not, the week after maybe, but uh, I thought uh, how great it is uh, to invest in these kids at Townley First Baptist. Uh, just to sit back and, and watch them uh, learn and grow uh, in the in spiritual matters has just been a huge blessing to me. Uh, the Awana program has uh, certainly changed my life, uh, and we have seen results. We've seen lives changed, and, and that is the greatest investment that we can make. And I hope uh, during this time when all of the distractions have been removed from us uh, that you have uh, invested uh, in your children with time, uh, but I hope uh, that you are you, that you are already investing in them spiritually, and that's the most important thing we can do uh, for our children: is lay that foundation, uh, invest in their spiritual future. Uh, it's the most important uh, decisions that they make, and the most important thing we can do as family uh, is to invest in them uh, in, in their spiritual matters, and 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 and. As I was thinking about our Awana program here on uh, Wednesday night at Townley First Baptist, about how many uh, people have invested uh, in this program. Uh, I'm not even going to call it a program. It's a ministry. It's not a program. It's a ministry of our church to reach out to these children in this community that need to know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Uh, how many have invested? I think about years ago, uh, even when we started this program, this ministry uh, of the how how the senior adults uh, invested uh, in this ministry that we've never done before. Uh, this was some five years ago, uh, but they saw the need to reach out to this community to to reach our kids, uh, and they they took a step of faith and with good leadership from our uh, church at that time. Uh, we began the Awana program, and, and so many have invested their time, uh, their talents, and their uh, finances uh, to make this Awana program a success. Uh, first, first and certainly of all, we, we have van drivers uh, that meet and, and go out and, and pick up our kids on Wednesday nights. Uh, even those uh, before that uh, saw the need for a van, 
that uh, invested uh, their uh, money and to buy us a van so that we could go out. And then we have uh, those uh, in our church that, that, uh, that come out every Wednesday night and cook uh, for our children. Uh, we feed them before classes begin on Wednesday nights. Uh, they're so faithful to come and, and uh, to, to just fix a little meal for them. Uh, the kids are so appreciative of that. And then we have our teachers and our leaders uh, that have invested so much time and their talent into teaching these children uh, the ways of the Lord and, and how to uh, to be a how, first of all how to be saved uh, and how to live a Christian life and 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 how uh, and most importantly how to share that faith with others. We've actually seen uh, many of our Awana members lead others uh, to Christ, and that's such a, a blessing. Uh, and then we have. Um, uh, even some uh, who support us financially, uh, even buying the food that we feed them, uh, so faithful in giving of their money uh, to keep this pro this ministry going, and so it, it's just it's a whole it's a team uh, just a team effort, uh, and and it's just uh, we have seen such a return on our investment uh, in investing in these kids. Uh, through this Awana program. And I hope uh, in the days and weeks to come as we gather back together that if you uh, live in this community and, and you need a place uh, to come to worship, uh, I hope you will give us a chance. Uh, we meet on Wednesday nights. Uh, at 6.15 we feed and then at 6.30 we gather for a large group. And, and I've already thought uh, this is the first time we come back uh, man, it's just going to be praise and worship the whole time and probably a pizza party. But uh, we just can't wait to get back uh, to, to, uh, to worship together and, and learn more about uh, the Word. And that's what it's all about. So uh, we're just praying that the 1st of May we'll be able to gather back as a group uh, and uh, just pick up where we left off. Uh, but once again, I just uh, shout out to all of those uh, in our church, in our community that help us with Awanas. Uh, if you need a place to serve, uh, listen, we've got plenty of opportunities for you to serve in our Awana program that uh, you can you can invest in these children also. And I just want to leave you with a scripture. It's found in Luke uh, chapter 12, verse 32. It says, Do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and give alms. Provide yourselves money bags which do not grow old, a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Let's invest in those heavenly rewards. Uh, let's invest in our children. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer? Heavenly Father, we do thank you. Uh, for the opportunity we have to speak each and every Wednesday night to these children and all of those who are listening through Facebook. Oh, we just thank you so much for this, uh, the way that you've allowed us to do this and reach others. And Lord, just praying for our one group tonight. Uh, Lord, we pray that they're all safe uh, and healthy. And Lord, we just pray that you'll watch over and care for their families. Uh, Lord, just pray as, uh, as we gather back together in the near future, uh, Lord, that we'll just uh, gather together as a family once again, uh, the family of God. And Lord, we just miss them so much. Uh, we just love to hear them uh, sing and praise and, and do dramas. And Lord, we just thank you uh, that they're willing to participate with us. And Lord, we just thank you for blessing us with so many children to, to uh, try to lead in the right way. And Lord, we just pray. Uh, right now that you'll just uh, help our Awana program to grow, uh, reach others, and Lord, most of all, that we'll see uh, souls saved and numbers added to the kingdom daily. And Lord, we just thank you so much for loving us, sending your son to die for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.